review Ghostbusters movies. The all-female Ghostbusters reboot has been slammed ever since it was announced in 2014, and its first trailer became the most disliked of all time. It was always going to have an uphill battle to please fans of the 1984 original but it has beaten the odds and proved that women can bust ghosts too. Thankfully the comedy is not a scene for scene rehash, but the plot is essentially the same and the characters are obviously derived from their predecessors. Chris and Vick's character Aaron Gilbert is clearly Bill Murray, as she's kicked out of university for her ghost theories, while Melissa McCarthy's Abby Yates is Aaron's old friend, just like Dan Aykroyd. Kate McKinnon is the nerdy engineer and Harold Ramis Spengler and Leslie Jones is a facsimile of the Ernie Hudson character, who simply wants to join the team. Like the original film, the scientists are laughed out of their universities due to their paranormal theories so they set up an investigation team to report ghost sightings. However, nobody believes them and they are dismissed as crazy women. A demon named Rowan uses the energy of the ley lines under New York to release ghosts in a bid to take over the city, a motive which is similar to Gozer, the shape-shifting god of destruction from the 1984 movie. There are many nods to the previous film, including cameos from Murray, Aykroyd, Hudson, Sigourney Weaver, Slimmer and the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man and these references are fun to spot. It also captures the joyous and light-hearted nature of the original but doesn't deviate too much from the tried and tested formula. The chemistry between Vig and McCarthy, who co-starred in Bridesmaids, is fantastic and they bring most of the heart and emotion to the movie. However, the standout stars of the show are Kate McKinnon and Chris Hemsworth, who plays the group's hot and dumb receptionist Kevin, displaying previously hidden comedy talent. These parts feel the most evolved from their predecessors and the actors steals their scenes and earn most of the laughs. Casting a man in the role of a receptionist also highlights how absurd it is to hire a clearly incapable person just because they're attractive, which happens all the time in movies and the real world. Jones was the biggest disappointment mainly because her character isn't developed beyond the stereotypical comedic sidekick slash friend. She's loud, Brash and is rarely given anything of substance to say, which is a shame. The finale was also disappointing as the story and characters get lost in among the influx of G-Ghosts and ghoul-killing action, and the last few scenes are rather cheesy. However, it's a strong start to what feels like a new franchise and hints of a possible continuation are shown in the credits, so make sure you stick around until the very end.